Um, quick unboxing of a new uh, Chips and Nose Paul slash edition. Just arrived. Looks like it's been opened by customs. Down this edge, the yellow tape is split. Should be slash edition. Should be in a hard case. Oh, I do see a hard case. I'm gonna have a wonderful view of my bald head. <laughs> It's all intact. It's got a full buckle. Um, case. Seems to weigh a reassuring amount of weight as well, not too light. So you're going to have to hoover. Um, I don't know how good. The Gibson cases usually are, so I have nothing, nothing to compare this to, but it's got the Slash logo on it. Um, I got the custom edition of a fixed neck on it, so it should be a one-piece neck. More packing. It's meant to be a solid body as well. Not very good weights, so I couldn't tell you. There's a cat. That looks nice. There's definitely no scarf joint. It doesn't feel mega heavy. Um, Would lead me to be, believe that it possibly isn't. <laughs> um, there's no heel joint either, so he's done. The guys followed the instructions. Um, finish is nice. Um, The guy even put a um, serial number on it, which would be on, if it can get in focus. My son is doing the camera work. You just about see that. Yeah, um, which is an actual Les Pauls. Feels pretty good. That's a little bit on the piss, but that could just be the knob, which we'll see. Um, shall put her there. Uh, let's have a look. Should have, yes, the generic shit um, guitar lead and toggle switch end. Bizarrely, there's no. Oh, and the Allen key. None of the um, usual uh, Gibson paperwork to. Which works. Um, yeah, not what I can see anyway. But anyway, it all seems okay. Um, pause it and I'll get a lead.